You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports fans, we're going to continue to talk about Bishop Sycamore. This is the high school football team that was wiped out on ESPN 58 to nothing by IMG Academy. And it all seems to be a scam. There's a lot of speculation about this supposed school. The uh, governor of Ohio um, is calling for an investigation into Bishop Sycamore. And guys, now we have a former player on Bishop Sycamore that has come out and really exposed Bishop Sycamore for the scam that it is. And folks, it's even worse than what he even told us because there is more information that we're going to be diving into this. Uh, Dan Patrick had something to say about this as well. Guys, we can probably make 10, 15 videos because there's just so much information. But let's go ahead. Let's listen to the former player talk about Bishop Sycamore. And that is Jay Crawford, formerly of uh, ESPN on Cold Pizza. This is very, very sad here, folks. It really is. So let's listen to this interview here. Well, new information coming to light this afternoon about the mysterious high school football team we told you about yesterday, Bishop Sycamore. The team claiming to be based in Ohio lost in front of an ESPN audience Sunday, final score 58-0 to a team from Florida. Now we can tell you they have fired their head coach. Roy Johnson was fired for not keeping track of injuries and for misleading a marketing team. Today, a four- Okay, and that building right there, folks, I did research on that. That is supposedly be the, supposed to be the address of uh, Bishop Sycamore. They don't own that. That is not a school right there, folks. Keep that in mind. Former player of Bishop Sycamore told his story to Kevin Landers of our sister station in Columbus. Aaron Boyd recalls this pitch he got from coaches to leave Cincinnati and play high school football in Columbus. When we first moved in, uh, they told us that we didn't have our facility built yet, so we were staying in a hotel in uh, Delaware, Ohio. So we were staying there. We all thought we were just waiting for our dorms. No dorms were built because this was an online school, and there was no money or food, he said. So the then 15-year-old says he and other players did what they had to do. Dine and dash, like, take food from grocery stores, all that. Like wow. So these kids that was sold a lie, were provided no food, and they had to go out and steal just to eat. Th these people that are running Bishop Sycamore need to be arrested just for that. Many players his age, he dreamed of playing against IMG, a high school football powerhouse that was featured last weekend on ESPN against the newest version of Christians of Faith Academy, now called Bishop Sycamore. Now, he brings up Christians of Faith Academy, we're going to be getting into that. And he called it the newest version. Bishop Sycamore is a new version of Christians of Faith. Keep that in mind. We're going to get into that. But his year, he never played against IMG. It's because we wasn't a real school. And he said there was little emphasis on education. We wasn't going to school. I wanted to actually come and go to a real school. Like, it got to a point, like, we wasn't going to school. And, like, I thought it was cool at first. And then, like, it was like, man. Like, what am I doing? Like, As for kids looking at going to the school now, Boyd has this message. Don't go because it's a waste of time. Wow. So Landers was scheduled to interview the actual director of the school, but says Andre Peterson never showed up for the scheduled Zoom call. Now, former head coach Roy Johnson, who we told you was fired, actually has a warrant, Betsy, out for his arrest. He's facing a civil lawsuit for alleged fraud. Mm. We've also learned today that at least five future opponents of Bishop Sycamore, including St. Ed's, which was scheduled for Friday, September 24th, have canceled their scheduled games. And Beth we're going to get more into that, too. See, when you put all of this together, I would be stunned if Bishop Sycamore ever plays another football game. I don't see how that can possibly happen. I don't know how it could happen either. And yeah. of course, stuck in the middle of all this is these kids. 
and that's, you know, they want to play football. It's not a perfect scenario. They have dreams like everybody mm -hmm. else does. They just want to get on the big stage, show what they can do. Sure. And, man, this has just been a smackdown on and them. And in the case of the player that was interviewed, he was sold a bill of goods that didn't exist. Right. Now, imagine you're 14, 15, 16 years old. You have dreams of playing at a Division I college football yep. program. And someone calls you and says, we're building a powerhouse here. It's going to be a nationally ranked power. And you get there and there's no dorms. There's yes. no food. These right. kids were stealing meals. Criminal. Unfortunate. We'll continue to follow the story wherever it goes. Now, that is really, really sad, guys, that those kids were out there stealing food to eat because this fate school did not provide them with anything, nothing. But however, check this out. We actually said yesterday that uh, four teams had um, canceled all the remaining games with uh, Bishop Sycamore. And now all the teams on Bishop Sycamore schedule have canceled games. They have no games on their schedule and rightly so. This is not a real school. This is nothing more than a scam. It's a complete scam to get money. Even Dan Patrick here. He said uh, yesterday, we reached out to the coaching staff at Bishop Sycamore about joining us for an interview. And we were told that we needed to offer compensation to have them on. They wanted the Dan Patrick show to pay them to come on and check this out. Dan Patrick says, quote, we don't pay guests. Fifty dollars, one hundred dollars. How much is enough? Like, how much is it for a high school coach? These people are all in it for the money and nothing more. They want to use kids to fatten their pocketbooks. Nothing more. But let's go into this. Remember, we were talking about uh, Christians of Faith Academy. Check this out. Before Bishop Sycamore, there was Christians of Faith Academy, along with lawsuits and unanswered questions. It mirrors exactly what was going on with Bishop Sycamore. And it gets worse than that, folks, because essentially Bishop Sycamore is Christians of Faith Academy, folks. Check this out. It says here, the craziest part of the Bishop Sycamore story isn't that a possibly fictitious school sprouted up in Columbus, Ohio, and started scheduling football games against a string of powerhouse programs around the country. It's that this had already been done before and by many of the same people. Just three years ago, a school called Christians of Faith Academy was created in Columbus under the dubious, uh, under same dubious circumstances with a football team serving as its lone public face. The school did not appear to have a legitimate physical address. The same with Bishop Sycamore. It's unclear what schooling actually took place. And you already heard the uh, kid from Bishop Sycamore saying they didn't really do school because it's not a real school. And it was run by a similar cast of characters who have been involved with Bishop Sycamore, including Rod Roy Johnson, who just got fired, who went on to become the head football coach at the current school before he was fired earlier this week. Quote, it is using the exact same methods, the exact same schemes with the exact people, same people said uh, Ben Fiore, who investigated Christians of uh, Faith Academy during his previous job as the assistant director of officiating and sports management at the Ohio School Athletic Association. Quote, in some of Bishop Sycamore's early games in 2019, the first season that they played, they wore Christians of Faith Academy's uniforms. So, yeah, it was the exact same scam. They simply changed the name. Unbelievable, guys. Absolutely unbelievable. And there's other articles out there about uh, Bishop Sycamore. They're using an address that isn't even theirs. They don't actually own anything. And the owners of that actual address were telling Bishop Sycamore, hey, you guys got to stop uh, using our address um, as a mailing address. Because you guys don't own anything. This whole thing is a complete scam. They don't have a school. They actually don't um, provide any type of education. This is a complete and utter scam. All these people 
need to be arrested because they are using and jeopardizing these uh, these students. Because when they played that game with uh, IMG Academy on Sunday on ESPN, they had played two days prior. They are jeopardizing the health of these kids, putting them in danger. And apparently Roy Johnson was fired because uh, he wasn't keeping track right of injuries of these kids. They are endangering these children. This is a shame. This is this is just a complete scam. These people need to be locked up in jail, investigated and locked up in jail. This is ridiculous, completely ridiculous. And I'm not letting ESPN off the hook. They should have did their due diligence. This is what happens. I said it before. When you get greedy, they needed somebody to play IMG Academy. And Bishop Sycamore was the one because this uh, marketing firm reached out. And Bishop Sycamore lied to them, lied to them. But ESPN does not get a pass on this. Absolutely not. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Bishop Sycamore exposed as a complete fraud by a former player. And now more evidence out there. Bishop Sycamore is nothing more than Christians of Faith Academy. Same thing. They wore the same uniforms and the same scam was run. Unbelievable, guys. Absolutely unbelievable. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.